Hi guys, I'm Shmi. Hello, good morning, and welcome back to the channel where today you join me with the Ford GT here in Death Valley. I'm departing from Los Angeles to head today towards Las Vegas. This means heading through this aptly named environment where I'm just hoping that we're going to be able to make it. Later in the day, it will get incredibly hot. This car, well, let's hope we've got enough fuel to get all the way through. That is something to be watching out for. But also today, while we make our way through this tremendous scenery, some amazing roads as well, I'd like to talk a little bit more kind of as a garage update about what cars are coming back when when's the Senna going to be back what about the AMG GTR Pro as well but I'm going to be driving the Ford GT through this quite frankly absurd environment just have a look around us let's hop on board though get on the roads and go and have some fun I think it's fair to say that this car against the backdrop at the moment looks awesome. Having my car out here is crazy. I've driven through Death Valley twice before. The first was back in 2012 on the Gumball 3000 where I rented for the last leg a Camaro convertible and even foolishly put the roof down. I remember seeing I think 53 degrees Celsius on the car which is well mental. Hopefully it's not going to get that hot today. The second time actually was also on the Gumball in 2015 going from LA back towards Vegas where I was driving with its white noise in a 918 Spider and then swapped into Dead Mouse's P1 for a ride with Dead Mouse here in Death Valley. That was a super cool experience, but never did I think that I would one day be back here with my own car. But here we are, the Ford GT. Now the biggest challenge for today is to do with the fuel. If you've been following my adventures in this car, you will know that it doesn't exactly have the biggest range, mostly due to the fact that it's a powerful supercar with a tiny fuel tank. So it can basically go, if you're driving on nice twisty roads, 100 miles if you're lucky that's about all you're going to get out of it so given there aren't exactly fuel stations or gas stations as i should say out here around us and in fact it is about 90 95 miles even to the first one that means i need to be a little bit cautious about this anyway we've had the new tires fitted at galpin following the destruction to the old ones the car is of course here joined by a support car to help carry the luggage we don't exactly have any space inside this thing but you'll see if i just come through get it started up quickly and of course it is a bit dusty around here we are well out in the desert in the utterly named death valley when you see this scenery bringing it into life for a moment we'll just go through these door open passenger door open every door open here we go temperatures all good we have if i go to the trip just quickly we've driven 40 miles already fortunately at the moment it actually says 196 empty but believe me that is lying we're going to see how this goes then as we depart and head on through this place this is just amazing and then of course like i said i will tell you a little bit more on the road as well about what's going to be happening with the senna the other cars coming back to the garage and the amg gtr pro i've got some big and very exciting news about that the thing with death valley is that later in the day it is going to get the system down it is going to get incredibly hot up here at the moment it's actually all right just really bright sunshine we started pretty early this morning we're outside at the car at about half past seven which for me is very very early to set off to get all the way through we're going to be stopping at spring mountain the race resort on the way through to las vegas actually but basically we've got a long drive a good couple of hundred miles in total we've got to hope that we're going to be able to make it in terms of the fuel but look at this look at these kind of roads lovely tarmac meandering backwards and forwards at the minute as we head down towards the bottom of the valley and in fact we can go through these pretty cool rock formations as well while we're at it now this is a national park or at least the main part of death valley is a national park which means federal cops everywhere so you basically have to be really quite quick careful and i think given the fact that we are in the middle of nowhere we're going to be extra careful because let's face it i do not want to mess this up and have a, a bit of a problem out here no cell reception phone signal whatsoever absolutely nothing and um probably not exactly the easiest place to get help and support should we need it nonetheless though these roads are pretty cool we're actually in normal which is kind of criminal we should go into sport press the button to go into manual on the gearbox drop some gears just make a little bit of noise have a bit of fun most importantly, make sure that I'm not going to be running out of fuel today as we get towards the first checkpoint in Stovepipe Wells, kind of in the middle of the valley overall, as we have some amazing, amazing views between here and there. What a place! Wow! <laughs> as you lose the view for a second, there we go. Having this car here is surreal! 
pulled over then at what is the entrance to Death Valley. But before we continue driving through the National Park, I think it's time for a garage update to talk about the various Schmimobiles. So the first bit of news for you is that the AMG GTR has now been sold. That will bring me on shortly to the GTR Pro. The other cars, well, the Supra is over in Germany still at the moment. I'm actually, despite what I previously said when I said kind of goodbye to it in Germany, going to be flying back there for a couple of days for something, then back out here to come back to Las Vegas afterwards. So that is moderately confusing. I will be seeing the car again very soon. But talking about all of the tuning, of course, catching up with Parker from Vehicle Virgins and seeing also Daily Driven Exotics car, but I'm sure you've seen the tuning projects as well from Stradman, Adam LZ, TJ Hunt. This game is becoming big and crazy very fast. We're gonna be seeing a lot of those, I think, over at SEMA at the start of November. So I'm looking forward to going there. Haven't been to SEMA for quite a long time. The GTC for Lusso at the moment is still with my dad who was driving it the whole of the time during part one but it will soon actually be going back to my Ferrari dealer to have a service and a check over before it gets delivered back to me I think literally a few days after I get back home to the UK myself other cars then the GT8 and the Heritage RS are still parked up pretty in the garage the 675 LT Spider. now that's an interesting one it's been away for quite a while it's actually been having a big service it got to three years old service MOT warranty extension and a few things being rectified so after that it's going to be going straight to Topaz to have a touch up to the PPF as well. So I might be able to catch it at Topaz while we're there for something else. More on that in just a moment. So what else do we have then? The Red RS. I need to go pick up that from Mount Tune at some point very soon as well. Is that everything? Apart from the big one, of course. The Senna. How can I miss the Senna? So what is happening with the Senna then? Well, the car has actually had the new panels painted. Remember when I went up to see the work being done, to see the car in its latest update, the panels had all arrived, the raw carbon fiber exposed panels. Well, those are now painted. They are very cerulean blue, and it's not gonna be that long now until they're reinstalled and fitted back onto the car as well. Anywho, let's get back on the road, talk about the GTR Pro in just a moment, and enjoy driving this car here in Death Valley. Now we're talking this kind of road. Look at this, the way it meanders backwards and forwards. This is exactly what I like to drive. This kind of place. Well, this is why I wanted to come back here. Yeah, there are loads of caravans, campers and things all around. Taking it just a little bit easy, just getting you know, some of the sound out of it. We're not on a racetrack, we're on a road. Like I said, got to be a little bit careful, but still. The sights and sounds are really, really spectacular out here. Really spectacular. Check out these views. We drove up to the top to about 4,000 foot elevation, so about 1,300 meters or so, but check out all the way across the valley here. You can see the dead arrow straight road across the bottom of it, and then it snakes and meanders on up the other side of Death Valley, which of course is where we're gonna be heading next. But I suppose I didn't really do all that much of an update on the GT itself. Everything's running perfectly with the car. Of course, we've got our new tires on it now, the new exhaust that it didn't come out with, but everything else about this has held up remarkably well. To be completely honest, if you're gonna do a few thousand miles around a different continent in a car you do worry a little bit that a supercar might have some issues but this has held up brilliantly well and so far we've actually got plenty of fuel because we've been taking it easy taking it gently cruising as well so we will continue in that direction head up and over to the other side to go find a fuel station in stovepipe wells i believe it is over that away but being back here i never thought having driven this road in a camaro seven years ago that i might one day be back with the american supercar my 4gt that is crazy anyway back on board let's continue we've gone back up and over but one of the craziest things about this road are the dips and undulations now the Nürburgring has a lot of them but just have a little look at the road in front of us you can see the crests and the kind of valleys it constantly just goes up down up down and a few times I've kind of wondered if you were going a little bit quicker you might actually be able to jump on them not that I intend to do this look at this one dip and it just literally kind of drops away down into a, a drop off and then right in front of us <laughs> What? That's just quite amusing to drive. Uh, and you know, the fact that I'm actually driving here, having, like I said, a few times already, and I'm sorry for this, been here so long ago with other cars being in mine, is completely mind boggling. This is again, I, this was just one of the places I really, really wanted to bring my, my ears are popping. 
yep, definitely got to do something about that. We've descended. It just goes up and down over all these valleys, back into the, the, the valley floors. But we are doing way better on the fuel than I ever anticipated. Um, we've actually done now 114 miles uh, since the last fuel, and we've got 92 to go. Oh, oh, we're going to go back up another little another little bit. So, um, yeah, we don't really have any problems. It's only about five or six miles to Stovepipe Wells to the fuel station. So I kind of over egged that one a little bit. I'm sorry about that. But nonetheless, this is just crazy scenery, unbelievable views. I think as Stradman would say, this is views on views, literally, uh, as we head through Death Valley today. And um, yeah, can't complain. The fun thing about this spot is right over there is where I jumped out of a 918, had some lunch, and then jumped into Dead Mouse's P1. Dead Mouse, of course, famous DJ, had a great ride with Joel with his P1 that had a white wrap with hearts all over it. But just opposite is a fuel pump. Not with the greatest premium fuel in the world, though, I'm not gonna lie, but the convenient thing about the GT is that you can kind of use regular unleaded. Yes, of course, it helps that I still had half a tank left, which means it mixes together, so we're above the kind of required octane or RON that the car needs. But nonetheless, we now have a full tank. I think that is the sign, yeah indeed, that says elevation sea level, which means everything in front of us is beneath sea level. Now we're going down towards this valley, we are driving below zero meters of altitude, which is still also an unreal and unusual thing. And you just look at the terrain here, it's like being on Mars or something. It looks like a different planet. We must be heading down to something like minus 50 meters or something like that down at the bottom, going down through the middle of the valley. That's really cool. My Ford GT has now kind of been underwater, at least under water level. It's an unusual thing for it to have done as well as we continue this journey across Death Valley. We've found ourselves the garage. I'm not necessarily sure we're gonna be doing any work on the car here today though, but what a set to take some photos in the sunshine. And to be honest, the liquid red, this color, standard color on the Ford GT from Ford that you could opt to have, the liquid red pearlescent metallic, is such, such a stunning paintwork. And of course, I'm rather fond of my gold stripes. But this thing's held up pretty well considering the heat. Now I say that, but it hasn't been as hot today as my previous visits out to Death Valley. Really and truly, if you come here in July or August or something, it gets boiling. 50 degrees plus, today is probably 30-ish or so at most. Nothing too mental for the car whatsoever. In fact, aircon has barely even needed to be on, to be honest. Uh, but we're going pretty well. I think we've only got about half an hour or so to go through to Pahrump, to Spring Mountain, out the other side. Uh, yeah, I'm having a pretty epic time with this thing. Fast forward a little bit, and we are arriving here at Spring Mountain which is a motor resort, basically. There are a number of different racetracks and layouts. We are coming to visit some friends, and um, I think there's currently a race going on, so maybe even with the window down, we might be able to hear it in a moment. But we will head on in and uh, go see what we can find around here. I can hear radicals. There are definitely radicals out on track at the moment. Yep, just about make them out. They have a lot of different layouts and a lot of track here, and we're about to have a pretty cool view of it all as well. We've got the cars blasting around. We're about to go up in a helicopter here at Spring Mountain to take a look at some of the action. This is literally a race right now, but the guys, I'm here with Speedy Jeff, literally flew in their plane, landed on the main straightaway and taxied to the house here at Spring Mountain Resort. How cool is that? There are some very nice cars tucked away, but like I said, we're literally going to go up for an aerial view over the track right now. See this? How cool! helicopter to fly around and check out Spring Mountain. What a crazy place. Seeing my car as well though, from up in the air, 
yeah, that's, that's not a bad afternoon. In fact, driving through Death Valley was epic, but what a way to kind of continue the day now doing this. And there are more cars going around again, back out on the track. What a place. Honestly, my jaw is dropping at how insane this is. Small extra activity. We are gonna go and do a lap or so around the track. Now, just quickly before we actually go out, I need to pop the car into track mode. Let's do this, confirm it, drop it down, wings gone up, back into gear, manual, and uh, we can head on out straight from driveway to racetrack. I might have got a bit low for that. No, we're good. Get over the entrance. And there we go. Another track on the tally for the Ford GT. This car, it's done Goodwood, Silverstone, the Nürburgring GP, Nordschleife, Palm Beach, Road Atlanta. Now we're going around here. I've driven around the Monaco Grand Prix circuit, of course, not during racing conditions. But this is now track number eight for this car, which is only 10 months or so old. But here we are. Have a look outside. And yes, this is basically parade style driving. This is not going to be a serious track day kind of drive. I have never been around here. Just a bit of fun to top off in the afternoon. I am not gonna lie, this track is very long and very complicated. I do not know where we are going. Just have a look out in front. The, uh, the corners can be quite deceptive, and yes, I'm following an SUV at decent pace, but driven by somebody who does actually know exactly what is going on and where each corner goes. <laughs> Breaking hard, background in front of the houses. This is, he's waving us by. Let's go have some fun for another lap. But like I say, uh, maybe I'll take it a little bit cautiously because, well, when we can see it's all good, but many of these corners, I don't actually know where they're going. Foot flat then. 100 miles an hour. 120. And let's get on the brakes earlier than we need to. Just safety first <laughs> while I work out where the corners actually go. In fact, this section of the track is really cool. Technical, twisty, run over some of the curbs into a hairpin. This car is so fantastic when you drop it down into track mode. The grip levels are just bigger. A bit of a cool down later then and we are returning back towards the houses. This is such an ultimate playground. We have just gone out for a few hot laps on the track cooled it down afterwards and now we can pull back off the track back into the driveway where the helicopter is parked up how is that a thing spring mountain <laughs> is the ultimate dream this is amazing Today seems to have gone in a pretty spontaneous direction. We started out with the Ford GT to drive through Death Valley and bring you guys an update on the cars in the garage. It ended up including a helicopter ride plus a few laps with the car at Spring Mountain. Now I didn't yet touch on the AMG G63 and that's because it actually connects to the GTR Pro, which I'll tell you about in just a moment. This car though has handled today magnificently. It has been a lot of fun driving it a fairly long distance and then of course, driving it out on the track as well, where by the way, brand new tires, super, super sticky. So the car's just been cooling down a bit, but I figured while it was opened at the back, just to show you the boot, the trunk, that is the reason that basically I haven't been able to use the Ford GT to drive from one city to the next, to do a full road trip tour. As soon as you've got two people in here with no space inside, there's nowhere to put your luggage. Today though, fortunately, we had some guys to join as well to take some photos, but also to carry the luggage, two people plus luggage, luggage for a couple of weeks, not gonna happen in a Ford GT. So I wanted to drive Death Valley. I've been able to do it, had a fantastic time. Now though, the car is a little bit dusty and in need of a proper cleanup, that's for sure. But let's talk about the GTR Pro and the G63. So some of you have actually seen the G63. A good friend of mine has been driving it recently. So it's been spotted in London and around the south of the UK. Um, basically, he's been driving it, of course, with the Topaz skin, the Akrapovic exhaust, the Rentec tuning. But the G63 plan is to involve it with the GTR Pro, which I am very, very pleased to say has now arrived. My GTR Pro is at my Mercedes dealer. And in fact, have a quick teaser 
of the car. So as soon as I get back home, I'm gonna be heading straight over to go and pick it up and I can't wait. I had so much fun with my AMG GTR. I've been waiting for the Pro, of course, the facelift, the updated interior and being even more track focused. So hopefully many days like this to come with the GTR Pro. The Ford GT though, actually I'm just seeing right now quite how much dust it has picked up today driving where we've gone with it looking stunning in the evening sunshine the sun just setting behind here at spring mountain and what a venue this is planes helicopters everything everything going on races right beside the house and driving with this car the whole of today to be honest taking it through death valley what a journey it's been and i hope that's been a bit of an update as well on some of the cars in the garage and when they're going to be back i think it remains to be seen which actually arrives first out of the various cars that are off having different things done but in any case i think this will be back in the uk before too long as well for now we're gonna head into las vegas there'll be plenty to come from there so thank you very much for watching guys as always i appreciate your support an awful lot and i'll see you again very soon cheers